hey YouTube, coming at you with a team that I did so well with. Uh, and it's because Togedemaru is so strong. And I was like, why is this Pokemon not so like higher ranked? Because I'm dominating with this Pokemon. And then what ended up happening is I looked at the rankings. Uh, I can bring it up on the screen here. And as you're going to see, it is an all or nothing Pokemon, right? These are huge, huge wins followed by huge, huge losses. And that's kind of what this Pokemon was. So let's just go with the losses first, just so you can kind of see like, ooh, these are some rough losses. Like Swampert, everything's resisted. Stunfist, everything's resisted. Uh, Dunsparce, you're just going to get outpaced to the drill runs. Uh, Metachamp, you just get out countered, <laughs> right? Registeel, you're going to get Focus Blasted too many times. So these are like hard, hard, hard losses. But then you get to the wins, and the wins, because you get to the, the wild charges so fast, you pick up huge wins here, like Bastion, you're going to get some multiple wild charges before. Uh, Drapion, Lantern, no, the core, you beat Lantern, both Water Gun and Spark. You beat uh, Pelper, whatever, obviously that's obvious, but you beat uh, Sableye huge, you beat Wall Rain, you beat all the, obviously all the waters, and most importantly, 921 against Noctowl, and I ran this analysis in like, even if they're up a shield, you have zero shields, they have one shield, one Shadow Ball does not take you out, you get to two wild charges before they get to the second Shadow Ball. So huge wins, and I did so well with this team, and it was basically came down to uh, a lot of time, if you pull out your weakness, you do well. So Magic Mace in here, uh, so it comes in with Tabu Fini. I was like, I can probably live a surf, and then I'm gonna have back-to-back -back wild charges coming out of this, right? So uh live that gets my back-to-back -back wild charges this will one shot or if they shield i'll one shot the second time around so goodbye now quizzing a combat gun i'm just gonna throw the wild charge fell stingers and nothing move here uh so wild charge will just do some chip damage nothing in particular big but uh it's chip damage all right now i get my sable eye on it uh they catch on a Guzzlord. So I'm just basically hard count of them. But now you're going to see uh, me not knowing how to time properly. Uh, so I'm getting a bunch of fast moves in because I'm not timed properly. So there's a full Dragon Tail. I do bait and they end up shielding here. So I'm at a pretty big advantage. Uh, but for the most part, I did not time this well. But I did hard count to the win all the way for the win here. Sorry, I'm just so congested still. Uh, we're going to see some of these other matchups. Basically, the team is an ABB style team. Uh, use Glaring Stuff as your safe swap. Try and draw out a Metachamp uh, or Swampert. Anything that just like absolutely punishes Togedemaru. And then your Sableye will deal, deals with the Metachamp a lot easier. It still does okay with the Swampert because Glaring Stuff will either land an Earthquake or grab a shield and then you can kind of just go from there and then your token damage will kind of sweep in the back and then if you if you uh, like win a lead and can align on something that's weak to electric or uh you just sort of outpace like you're just you just you win a lot <laughs> it was actually quite surprising how strong this pokemon was uh so palma sounds like a weird lead so I'm just going to take one move, because I can take one move, Weather Ball here. I can throw a sh Foul Play, which will grab... Oh, I was supposed to say, I can throw Foul Play and grab Shield Advantage. Uh, but this is exactly what you want to do, right? Grab the Swampert. One Hydro Cannon is not going to take you out. Uh, and then you can land an Earthquake, and this will either do huge chip damage, or it will put them in, like, the red as well. And yeah, you'll get outpaced to the next move, but they got to throw, or else I'm going to be able to throw... So they did up their Hydro, and now I can Shadow Claw down, right? So that's how you just basically draw out your weakness, uh, and then hope that you can sweep in the back. And it is an Azumarill in the back, which is not bad. So I'm going to just throw the return, because this is a ton of chip damage if they let it go. They do not, so now I'm up a shield, and this is big. And they're, they're confused, like, oh no, what do I do here? Uh, I can live any move because everything's resisted weather ball and energy balls resisted but still gonna add up chip damage there a little bit of leg i'm bumping my uh i was gonna say i'm bumping my attack up and they shield and now this game is over because i'm gonna go back to back wild charges uh 
and a little bit this thing's already so attack heavy so resist a wild charge here not gonna matter this is gonna one shot and then i'm probably gonna one shot the azumarill back to back right here basically a full health azumarill is gonna go bye bye to this what a beast and it was just like you're gonna see some matches against like bassidon and stuff like that was just like whoa this thing has like a truck and it's so good because you can just like steel resist a lot grab shields and nuke and that's kind of how this team played out so i shield up a seed bomb um i was about to say i was if anything i was gonna try and land a uh uh like catch on my glare and stun fist soon i know i can live two surfs so that's why i'm not super upset coming here because again with this team you kind of just want to get shields down for Tuka Demaru is how you play this. So take that second surf. I will either grab a shield or take this out. I think that's all I want to do. So they end up shielding, that's fine. And throw. So do I either come and take a Tuka Demaru here or yeah, I come in here knowing I can take a surf. I'm a half electric, right? So only the surfs are gonna add up here. And I'm just gonna build to two wild charges and basically be ready to throw two wild charges here. Uh, so there's your wild charge. Goodbye lantern. Oh no, not quite. So I snipe, so that was actually a pretty smart heads up play. So I thought that would take it out and I'm like, oh, one HP. So I'm like, just take it on this because I read a lant, yeah, I read this stupid lineup in the back here. I read the lantern octal back line here and Togedamer has such a good matchup against both. I'm like, can I get to the, I was trying to get to return, cannot get to it. I've got a shield, a shadow ball, because the shadow ball from this range will take me out. And now Trevenant comes in, and Trevenant's down to no shields, and again, resisted, does not matter. Goodbye Trevenant, goodbye Noctowl. <laughs> that's, that's sort of the thing, like, anything that's resisted, even if it's like 50% like health, you're going to like one shot. And then Noctowl is just an easy one shot so big wins there um i was supposed to say i, see, I hear my kid crying in the background but he's he's napping so he'll go back down um we both side time simultaneously swap this could be a close combat but i'm gonna let it go anyways because i do survive um and now because they're so lowered i'm just gonna go for a rock slide to take this out uh, and they shield, and then I'm like, okay, I can only get to a rock side here. I was supposed to say, I don't think I need to resist it, so a rock side probably won't take this out. Um, but I did grab a shield, plus now I chip down, which is fine. Come back in here. I'll take a foul play, and then I'll just farm down to still be in pretty good position here. And then let's see what comes back in. I assume it's not going to be... Oh yeah, the zoom roll will come back in. So I'm going to just get it with the return. This will do a pretty good chip damage, but only at like 60%. Yeah. And now I'm just going to get outpaced here. So I come in here, catch. So if there's an ice beam, it's resisted. So I don't need to worry about shielding. It's just an ice beam, so that's fine. Uh, and what is in the back? Uh, a registeel. And here we go. So I'm down two shields. And I'm down. I'm up shields. I'm super low on health, but a focus boss is going to take me out anyways. And here we go. I can just farm and farm and farm. Shield once. Lock-ons aren't doing anything because it's steel, so it's resisting. Um, basically, I have two wild charges again. This is going to take it out. So, goodbye, Reggie. Piece of cake. They come in here. They're going to have a move. That's fine. I got to shield it up. Uh, ice Beam. I'm just going to come in here and just go straight foul play because I got to move bank. Um, and they are going to have to shield this, and then I'll have a wild charge to take this out. And that's it. It's like, it's such a like a win hard, lose hard Pokemon. And that's why if you run like AVB style team and you can draw out that hard counter, you're gonna sweep in the back end on a lot of these. And that's basically what I realized. And that's how it played out a lot of these situations here. So yeah, I was very happy. Uh, this matchup, catch a Thunderbolt. So great catch here. Still gonna take two surfs to take me out. Um, but again, the problem with this matchup is you lantern so spammy, so it only takes five sparks to get to the surf. So 
by the time you get to the earthquake, like if they shield properly, you're like already losing, right? So I, I think this is, if I remember this matchup, I'm going to lose this, but I'm going to grab a shield advantage. I'll shield here. I'll get to the earthquake. They'll shield back, but then they'll have like surf plus energy. That's the only problem with the Galarian Stempfist matchup that I've played multiple times. Like the surfs just come way too fast for this matchup. Uh, and if they double shield earthquake, like you're, you lose. So I was trying to do chip damage. They still get it off. So good counting on their part. Uh, but that's okay. I'll come back to Sableye and then we'll have to see what is in the back. Uh, but when you're down this much health and Pokemon and only have one shield, it's not great. Bastiodon comes in and here we go. I'm just going to chip this because two wild charges don't quite take it out. Um, maybe with the sparks they would have actually. So I chip, I've got a shield up flamethrower because that will take me out because I'm half steel. Um, but here we go. Let's just get to the multiple wild charges here. So this one where I messed up the count. I messed up the counting on one of them. Uh, but it is not this one. I'm going to basically have a second one here. This will take it out. I'll have a move coming out again. So goodbye, Bastion. Oh uh, yeah, this game's over. <laughs> and there's your hard punish. Uh, right. Yeah, I was about to say, looking good until you cannot throw anything. And when you get hard punished, you get hard punished and there's nothing you can do. So if they have like learn stuff as Swampert, like backline, you like you lose. There's nothing you can do. So just take that into consideration if you're running this Pokemon. Um, yeah, it's a win hard, lose hard sort of things here. So draw out the Metachamp. That's what you want to see. Chip this a bunch or grab shields. I was supposed to say, I remember one Metachamp grabbed, I grabbed shields. Uh, and I did flip the mid game here once because the ice punches, even from this range, ice punches is not enough to take you out. So if they did not shield the first earthquake, this earthquake would have taken them out. So I don't expect to double shield, but this will put them down to like the yellow. And this is why Stunfist is a great safe swap. Come in here, uh, just farm a ton. Uh, if I remember, the Dragonair comes back in, which is not a bad play. Uh, they just don't want to get farmed down. The problem is I cannot get out of this because Wild Charge is resisted. I mean, from this range, it's a shadow, so I probably would be able to take it out anyways. Uh, but I just want to not have to deal with that and then lower my defense for like Metachamp to come in and just like farm. So I take this out. The Metachamp comes back in. I get a couple claws off, which is good. And then Togedamaru is going to have to sweep in the back here with shield advantage. Uh, so these counters are adding up, which is fine. I don't care about the counters. I care about what is in the back. I, don't, I doubt you're going to see a double second counter user in the back here. And it's Bastion. And here we go. I'm going to boost my attack because I don't think one wild charge, two wild charges take out. I don't know. I'd have to play that matchup a bunch, but I don't think it does. Uh, I know these rocks, th rock uh, smackdowns isn't going to take me out. And I just need to come out with a two more wild charges, one to take this out, and then one to take out the Metachamp. I don't care about this, I can shield. Uh, so now I can take out back-to-back -back wild charges here to take this out and take the Metachamp out. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you dominate with Togedemaru and a meta dominated by Lantern, Noctowl, and Steels. So outside of Swampert, I mean, Metachamp's gonna light you up too, but Metachamp, Swampert, Glare, and Stunfisk, like you will light up the other meta hard, like really hard. And it's such a strong Pokemon. I would like, I would 100%, I would if I wasn't just trying new teams just to mess around, I would 100% run with this team again. It worked so well. It is such a good Pokemon. But again, if you're seeing Metachamps and Swamperts and Galarian Stunfisk in your ELO, no, it is not a good Pokemon. <laughs> so don't use it if you see that. Otherwise, very strong Pokemon. Uh, definitely definitely one worth uh, building. And it was ranked like 40th on the PB Poke, right? So like it's a pretty high ranked and, and right, or even higher than that. And rightfully so, right? Because you just like hard wins, hard losses. And that's how you play this Pokemon. Anyways, that is it. Uh, fun to use, strong to use. So definitely... Look into that if you want to break up the Lantern Noctowl core and still have stuff to like uh, nuke Bastion on and stuff like that too. So strong Pokemon. Anyways, that is it. Uh, thanks for watching. Appreciate the thumbs up comments and I will see you guys in the next one.